All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, so this is, I think you just heard Optimus say fuel cells, right? So this is the big broadcast event. I am going to go through a quick session with my fuel. And you guys are going to see how I do it. Uh, what I'm trying to go for, right? I'm going to go for... What do we got here? This one. Uh, win five very hard event battles. Really easy. If I have... Then three very hard PvP battles. Huh? Alright, so I want to say those two aren't going to be hard to get. But those are the two that I'm doing for this one. Oops, wrong one. And let's get started. You see I'm capped out, so let me just... Yeah, Ruination is really good for Zone 15s. Um, the main point is to get this done quick and fast. So that's why I don't go through... Um, I don't use other combiners at this zone. Uh, some people can probably handle zone 15s with some of the other combiners. Okay, let's take it so long. There we go. See, they do that on purpose. One, one thing you may notice with people who have um, videos on their gameplay, sometimes the combiner does not... Uh, how do I say this, like, activate, even though it looks like um, their ability is at 100%. Like, it's a, it's the weirdest thing. I, I, I need to do more videos of gameplay, because a lot of my stuff is just about, like, opening up rewards. And But if I did more videos on gameplay, you'd see how the, the combiners act up um, after you deploy them. Ooh, maybe I should join this team. Filthy casual. That's what I consider myself. Also, the, the way I play. Um, I think people might say something about it because I'm not really utilizing things. This is just one specific type of gameplay I have. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, one specific type of tactic, which is just get in there, get out, and as quick as possible. You know? Um, the only time I think I play strategically or more seriously is when it's it's wartime. Uh, that one where it's like, oh, I have to be calculated because I have points and the team relies on me type of thing. Um, otherwise, even like when it comes to like regular battles, I don't really go in there like all right i need to do it this way to make sure i win type of thing that's my two cents or i mean sorry not my two cents not my opinion but that's exactly what i end up doing uh, now where is okay that way can i just be able to get rid of those three real quick Yeah, as long as it's not um, Leo Kaiser, I'm good. See, that's like one of the things. That's exactly what I was talking about. It showed 100%, but did not let me... Um, oh, okay, I lucked out. It did not let me use my ability. They showed off a new gameplay the other um, day, which was a recent stream to this. I, I know chances are when, if you're watching this, uh, they probably introduced a new gameplay. Um, battle type. I'm not too sure. I forgot what it was called. But it was a way that they charge you 15 fuel instead of 5 fuel. And you could potentially get 
uh, a lot more, um, I guess, points toward a, toward an event. I'm not sure if it's only for events. I don't know exactly the point of it, but like for a speed runner like me, that's which which a lot of people play. Like this is a this is a legitimate, you know, strategy. But the way they they are giving more uh, points and charging more fuel, um, it's a good deterrent. Um, like I can get three matches in thirty seconds a piece, right? Like look at this, like I barely thirty seconds, right? So now the question is how how valuable uh, is valuable the right word? How much value maybe? Like how much better is that gameplay gonna be? That game type gonna be? Uh, I'm sure when I get into it, I'll understand it a little bit more. More people who have more recent videos will explain it better. But just my two cents on it. I, I'm not entirely sure. You're gonna see like like this tactic like the people who use this I'm not sure if they're going to switch over because I think right we, we'd have genuinely have to see like what I would have to do right is take a look at yeah running around everywhere I'd have to see, because look at look, like look at what I'm doing, right? Like I'm now it's going around everywhere, killing stuff. I don't know, killing everything and getting at least three times the score. Is it worth it? I don't know. I would have gotten this, uh, you know, beat um, all events on very hard next week, regardless. You know, but I might as well just you know take care of it now and get it out of the way. I wonder why they don't um, bring certain ones out right away. I don't have a direct answer. I feel like. If they did and people got the 3,000 points ahead of time or, you know, even the, I guess not the 5,000, you wouldn't be able to get all 5,000 in one week. But if you got like the bulk of everything out of the way, then you can kind of walk away for a while. And I think that's what they're trying to avoid. They don't want people ever walking away from the game. They want it being played as much as possible. Oh, nose comes out too, huh? Got to test him out. I'm not paying attention to the points. I gotta see where I stand. All right. Now this one might be a problem. Where do I have to run to to connect with something? Yes, this is a problem. Uh, like this one's gonna take longer than expected. You had the the additional shield too. Additional armor, whatever that um, whatever that core is. Yeah, it cost me 15 more seconds than expected. All right, 87.
I still don't know how to use nose cone that well. I would use him as a walker before. Now it feels like you don't have to use him as a walker. So is he a viable new transformer to use? I, I don't have a right answer for that. Kind of looks like it. There we go, and almost done. This is this is the pace it should be. The only thing that would really improve on it is if I had a direct angle to run at the base, at the HQ. And the only thing even more optimal than that is if somebody you know just put their HQ up front. If I go to the um, the guys at the at the top, the ones that are you know like five thousand and above, it'll probably get me out of. Uh, it'll knock me out of doing the hardest. Well, thankfully, it didn't wake him up. That would have been annoying. Yeah, speaking of annoying, usually I do things like that <laughs> on the weekend. That's why. Just got a reminder of how real life stuff you have to has to be done versus you know doing fun stuff like this. Will it be destroyed before I have a chance to knock this off? stand see nice and quick it's the way it should be there we go direct oh that um that gatling is gonna cause trouble see what I mean that was another thing happened again Like it's taking a second longer. It's a noticeable, especially when you're doing stuff. It's just like. Like the combiner was not ready. The ability wasn't ready. Maybe I should have went the other way. All right, let's see how this works. All right, I should be fine. Yeah, I only get nervous when I when I think it's going to be. Leo Kaiser or uh, Computron. I mean, they're the only ones that really can stop your combiner in its tracks, right? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All right. I must have been goofing around a little bit. I think I only have one more battle. Usually, I wonder where I lost it. 
Was I goofing around? It wastes time somewhere. Look at that. You see what I mean? See what I mean? That one was the most blatant one. Yeah, I should be a lot farther. Or I should have more time with my combiner. I don't know what happened. Did I have a long battle in here somewhere? Something that lasted more than a minute? Well, my timing was right, because now I, at least I finished the event. It's just, I, I don't know what happened with the other few more battles. It's a little weird. Maybe I should have um, brought out uh, first aid instead. It's always a little harder to get medics um, leveled. Uh, you know what it is? Maybe it's because I wasn't fast forwarding. Usually I, I hit the fast forward button like this. Um, maybe, I don't know. I don't have a specific answer. But usually, with these 15 minutes, I'm able to get all the battles done. I'm meaning uh, using all 75 fuel. I think that's the only real good thing. Yep, there we go. That's done. Should tell me my prizes. And... Um, I have three more battles, which I plan on doing this. I only have three battles, so uh, without a medic. And honestly, these, these aren't hard. Um, but I have to get out of... My five-star guys, they're way too strong. Um, nope, still too strong. Honestly, this one can be done with combiners, too. I, I probably will, just to... Oops, I went too far. I'll definitely keep this video under 20 minutes. Never mind, I lied, it's going to go over 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what uh, let's see if Goldfire can do the trick, and I have my combiner to back him up, so it should be fine. Yeah. I mean, my t Titan. That's what I meant. I didn't mean combiner. I meant Titan to back him up. See, I knew that was going to be a problem. All right. All right, let's see how this works. Fast forward. Really, only one after that. All right, we got to go a little quicker. I don't want to use my battle boost on on the HQ. Nope, wasn't close enough, but at least that's over. Maybe I might get lucky with um, Slug. Let's see. Yep. Uh, I guess not that lucky. Look at that. HQ surrounded. Yeah, let's see how strong he is. I should have switched my battle boost. Alright, let's see how strong you are. 
little odd that Pipes is stronger than you. Pipes, he's a tiny... I don't want to... I think, like, toy-wise, he's categorized as a tiny one. Like Bumblebee. Like, I, I forgot what toy line they were from uh, when it came to um, Takara. Alright, let's do that again. And Fortress Maximus is going to help him out, so we got nothing too much to worry about. And who's going to hit? Yep, hit Megatron. And he's kind of defending himself. Let's see, more and more. More and more house chores. Who's he beating up now? Now he's beating up Skull Smasher. Now he can finally hit the HQ. He was getting hit hard though. So the core I put on him is a defense core, uh, Trilithium Plating. And there we go, the shield is up, he's good. And let's go, uh, oh. your Star Scream wasn't the, the right one to hit. Should have targeted the HQ again and let the um, let the computer let the a let the algorithm figure out um, what to target close enough. All right, and this should be the last battle. Let's go for pipes. Yep, good. Now for pipes, I, I maybe I should have chose um. Uh, same thing, another, um, uh, what do you call it, plating core? Oh, yep, I lucked out. Alright, go straight. There we go. Now he should be good for a while. And after the... Yeah, his health is going to come back at some point. Plus I have... Um, uh, what's, it? what's his name? Teradax? So he's going to get more health back. And there we go. Nice and quick. Um, I have, um, some skin on him. I think it looks kind of cool. I usually just pick, like, the G1 skins. But he doesn't have a G1 core. And that's gonna do it for this video. Let's get my two goodies. A little gameplay. And what do we got here? That is the ability skip. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's look. To see, wait, wait. unfortunately, what's going to be a part of this is um, what was that? Was that something else? Did I see something? No. Oh, that's what it was. That was the arrow. I mean, the exclamation point. So, who do I give that ability skip to? Mm, I think it was going to be slug, right? Yeah, I think it was. Um, no, I, I need I need stronger. So what's what does he get? Um, energy absorption. That's not the extra. Uh, fire damage is still the same. Upon the final target. Fire splashes to another building. All right, so. Okay, so that's the extra part. He gets over there and does, uh, and the fire damage spreads. Do I want to give someone else something? That's the question first. No, we're going to do the skip on slug. 
Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I don't even know about this guy. Um, Snarl, I don't even know what to say. I thought he was going to be great. And he turns out he's not that good. Eight. I still got to see how good this new version of uh, Nose Cone with the Onyx Prime Core is. Because it makes sense, right? Like, if he's a walker, let his regular de right regular attacks be stronger. Oh, yeah, I got to boost him up, too. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hope he becomes a lot more viable because what I used to do is when I had his four star, I put one of the prime cores on him. Uh, I think it was the Nexus prime core and teamed him up with smoke screen. So he would just, you know, uh, open up outposts, smoke screen and snipe him. And if by chance a uh, afterbreaker didn't survive, he would come back full health. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's going to be slug. All right, let me just make sure. Yep, that's one. That's what we're going to do. I think I got pipes already. Let me just make sure about pipes, and then we'll move on. Yeah, he's already a level um, ability 11, so I'm good there. Now let's make a quick swap on weapons. Uh, where's the corrosive blaster? We're going to give that to Sunstreaker because he already does fire damage. And let's see if he gets 16% more damage. Well, fingers crossed that makes him better. And now, who do we give? Where did he go? Hmm? Oh, there he is. Red Heat. Who do we give Red Heat to? Feel free to put a suggestion down below for me, just in case... Um, you know, whoever I put him on doesn't seem like a, a viable option. Maybe? Nope. Shoots acid, huh? Really? Anorax. The two star. Ooh, what do I think? Maybe I'll, I'd be more likely to use Brawn. I guess he does need a healer. Tiger Hawk. I wonder. I only use his special once, though. I, he's not able to one-shot buildings yet. I'm afraid to put more onto him. Um, maybe when I get like a better G1 core of his. Um, I think it's probably going to be Brawn. Because Brawn's pretty strong, right? Yeah, Brawn. All right, Braun it is. Where'd he go? All right, he'll stun while Red Heat shoots at whatever's stunned. Maybe it'll work out that way. Um, 
And I think that's all the little bit of gameplay I'm going to do. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you have some constructive criticism, go ahead and leave it down below. And I do make videos every so often. Uh, the one that's going to be coming up is, is opening up the goodies from this event. So feel free to subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one.